everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Jill and today we're having a wig chat. This is a little different than normal for a couple reasons. First of all, I have listened to you and you guys love when I film in this room that has this big, huge window and we get natural light. And even though it is very dark outside currently and it just finished pouring rain, it still is natural light. And I have a tiny little ring light that will that's a little far away just to help because it's so dark outside. But many of you really like when I film here for that very reason, it is natural light. And you're like, please do more makeup tutorials there. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna do a wig chat in here and see how it goes because it's natural light and we'll be able to see the color in natural light. And I try to go outside to give you that. So if we can kill two birds with one stone here, yay. I could very easily even put up my black backdrop back here just to eliminate all of this nonsense because it's not so pretty. But for now, we're just going to do this. I chose this particular style for a reason. This is a gorgeous piece by Raquel Welch and it's in the color Shaded Biscuit. It is a style that I feel like many of you might out of the box just send it back. And it really saddens me to think of the styles that you do send back and you don't give it a good go. They could be your go-tos. They could become amazing additions to your collection. But for whatever reason, you're like, mm. and I chose the style because I feel like it might fall into that category. And it also falls into the category of this is a cute style. And if you just do a little bit that first round, you know, the first time, you won't have to mess with it again after that. And it'll be just a matter of styling it however you want that day and maybe putting a little hairspray and going out the door. But I think initially it can really put you off a little because, and I'm going to show you why, it's just for me too. For me, it, because it has a full bang, it is definitely one of those styles that I'm a little intimidated by because I am not a full bang person, even though I have a tall forehead and I feel like I do look better in some sort of bang for sure. But I don't know. I think it's because I spent years, years um, not being able to wear a bang because I, my hair just was getting way too thin and receding and whatnot. So bangs were out of the picture for me. So I think just um, it just then my eye is just what's happening when I have a full bang. It's also kind of a, a short bob. So you have almost this dated page boy look. But I'm telling you, I have faith in this piece. I really think it could be really super cute with just a little bit of something something and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do right away because I have a fine feeling I'm gonna need to so it will automatically help me to start working with it to make it feel like it's my hair and like it is me so stay tuned I think you're gonna find this one very very helpful I just don't want you to return pieces that truly could become your go-to grab and go and they will look fabulous on you if you give it just a little bit of attention. So stay with me. Okay, the style that I chose for this particular video that we're doing today, it's called Influence Elite and it is in the color Shaded Biscuit. I feel like this is that little hidden gem and I think it's gonna suit so many of you out there. Okay, I, I have not put this on my head, honestly, so this will be a first impression. And if there's something weird about it or, or something that's just not jiving with me, I will let you know, for sure. I always do. Okay, so look at this. This is so cute. While it is kind of a bob, it has this layering that will tuck in beautifully. You know, it is like the cut on this is so breathtaking. It really is gorgeously done. So it's going to tuck in back here, but yet it's not going to be real heavy because it's not going to be all one length. And hold on, I'm going to try to get this to... It has this full bang 
in front. Okay, so first, before we get into this, because I'm really excited to do that, I'm gonna show you the cap. This is gorgeous. Honestly, this is the elite. That's why it's got that word in there, because check out this cap. So this is a hand-tied cap, completely hand-tied, full monofilament, full monofilament here. We can part this anywhere in there. It does not have a lace front because it has this full bang, but it does have this feature here, which is sort of this silicone-y front here, which really grabs. It does a great job, especially if you're like me and you have very little hair or your hair is receding, or maybe you don't have any hair. It's gonna grab really nicely. So this has the really nice ear tabs here, nice metal stays in there to keep it close to the temples there and it has an extended nape which I prefer they also have the vertical stays back here which are really great to utilize you pinch them in and it'll stay tucked close to the nape of your neck there so that's nice so yes this is a hundred percent hand tied what does that give us realism times ten because these are sewn in just one at a time, each fiber. So when the wind blows, we're gonna get this really realistic look and the way it moves, it really is a realistic feeling for us. Hand tied caps are amazing. And if you can afford to try one out, I think you will definitely feel and, and see the difference. All right, also one little last tidbit, these are the Velcro straps. I very seldom have to mess with these, but if you have to let it out, it goes out a half inch on each side. Um, and if you wanna let them in and bring them a little, so you have a little bit more of a tighter circumference, you can bring each side in pretty far. I mean, some, some people even have to sort of like overlap. So you have all this space to secure your, your Velcro straps. So let me put this on before I really talk about anything else because I don't know yet what I'm gonna have to do with this right out of the gate. So right away, when you're dealing with a non-lace front piece, it's it feels natural to sort of have it cover up and it ends up being too low. So what you want to do is, I'm gonna bring my actual mirror a little bit more in front of me here. Is that gonna get in our way? Maybe, maybe I'll stick it back here a little bit. That's better. Is you wanna fold it up and you wanna bring it back and you wanna be able to see your hairline. So there's my hairline. And then you're just gonna lay it right on top of the hairline. Cause we have a tendency when we don't have a lace front to do this and then we feel like we need to then cover it up. That's too low. I need to bring it back and see my hairline and then let it down so the actual fibers themselves are technically growing right where my actual hairline is so that way that piece isn't sitting too far forward okay now I like to pull out my natural hair here. I think it's yeah, it's a little too long. So to be honest, I would have no trouble even right now if I do. I oh, I actually do. I'm gonna actually take the. I'm gonna take some cuticle scissors and trim this so I can wear this style with a little of my own hair there. So all I do is I use little cuticle scissors because honestly. I don't need to trim much. I don't pull out much. So I am gonna grab everything that's mine and just give me a good idea. And then I'm gonna just trim that right off. I have a little tiny garbage can here. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. Again, I honestly, do not pull out much. Boom. So now I can pull out my own hair and it isn't going to interfere 
and it isn't going to be too long. I am not a middle part person, so I would choose probably which side I want to take this on. This would be cute, tucked back. I mean, right away, I'm surprised. I thought actually I would be having a little more issue with, with getting to like this one. Um, very, very cute, but I don't like how flat this is. I also am not one to really love how soft this is right out of the box. I know, I know a lot of you love that. I just feel for me, I like a sense of just a little more texture. For me, I feel like it looks a little bit more real when it's not quite so soft. And so I'm going to have to add a little bit of texture to this with product. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use and how I'm gonna go about doing that. But I wanna give you a spin first before I do anything. So you can see what this looks like right out of the box. I am gonna fluff it a little bit and just kind of get those fibers up and off this beautiful cap, which by the way is so light. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a spin. automatic for me to tuck and this color is so light and so ashy that I could I don't have to worry about my gray having to be covered up with even root powder um, because it is such an ashy color and my my gray is of course very ashy so it's kind of nice that I don't don't have to worry about that and I still have this really natural looking you know, tuck kind of thing going on there. If you don't have any hair to pull out or your hair is too short, maybe you've buzzed it, it's okay. It's all right. You still will get a really pretty tuck with that as well. And if you wanted, you could still sort of experiment with using, you know, like a color because this is rooted you know a color of root powder that is very similar to this maybe a taupe in this particular color um, and you can do a little shadow just the littlest shadow right along the hairline with it right on top of your skin and then take your finger and really sort of get that all smudged and softened just that little bit of an illusion can go a long way these fibers on this piece are amazing. Of course, this is a Raquel Welch wig and they do use amazing fibers. These fibers aren't too fine. They're not too coarse. The density of this piece is over the top perfect. Of course, this is a hand tied cap, so it's going to lay very nicely to the plane of my head. These caps fit me really great. I will put my measurements down below in the description area where you will find everything down there. You're gonna find the specs, how much this weighs, the layers, the lengths, everything. You're gonna find the link that's gonna take you to this piece and you can learn more about it. That's where you're going to want to go in all of my videos to find out all the information of whatever it is we're talking about. This is a heat friendly fiber, so you can do a little something different to it and that's fun. However, because it is heat friendly, we also have a natural looking fiber when it comes to the shine factor. This looks like very well taken care of healthy hair. It does not look like it is synthetic-y. It doesn't have that over-the-top shine. That's why I love heat-friendly fibers. I do because of that. They look more realistic to me and they feel more realistic. I don't know. They, they, they need to be babied. They definitely break down faster. Unfortunately, that is the downside of them, but I'll take that any day. 
Yeah. So I am going to just do a real quick something to this piece, and it's going to help me style it a little better. It's going to help my hairspray stick and hold a little better as well through the day. So for me, I do have to do that. So this is what I'm going to use. This is a John Renault styling product. It's a number four, and it's called Refresh. It is kind of this combination between a dry shampoo and a volumizer. It will definitely help to take away extra shine, but it has a little bit of powderiness in there, enough to where it is going to change the texture a little for me. And it's gonna also help, you know, hairsprays do a better job because they're gonna have something to stick to, those little tiny fibers and the actual fiber itself of the hair. So that's why I like using dry shampoos. So for instance, for this particular style, I'm not doing it to dull the shine. I'm doing it to change the texture and to help my styling products perform better. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off completely and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just put it on all over. And let's see how this works. I'm gonna get way over here, away from my product. By the way, this product is called Pick Me Up because it does help with volume, giving volume because of the powderiness of it and those little fibers, you know, the powdery fibers. It smells nice too, I must say. So again, I am going to see where my hair is, my actual hairline. I'm quite crooked, so I'm going to straighten that out first. Then I'll go back and get this where it needs to be. Okay, so do you see how that changed the texture? It did take away some of that shine because, the, you know, it is a bit of a, um, a dry shampoo kind of situation. But while it doesn't feel gritty or anything, this is pretty mild when it comes to that. Um, I still feel like I am going to have such an easier time getting this to do its thing, getting this to behave for me a little better. This is something I would do once, okay? I don't wash my wigs after every wear. I put that off for as long as I possibly can. So really all of this stuff is gonna happen today and then I won't have to do that again each time I wear it other than I probably will change it up. I probably will still add some hairspray. But as for, you know, all of this stuff that we're doing here, I won't need to. Do you see how it really did give us some body and that's because of of the formula, it changed up that texture, which to me makes it look a little more realistic in my eye. I mean, I inevitably will get people say, I liked it so much better before you did that. That's fine, but I have to get it to where I feel good in it, so I will wear it. And just in case you're the same, I wanted to share what I would do. So this is my favorite hairspray. I have two favorites. One, I ran out of pretty quickly. <laughs> And I absolutely love it. And they're both aerosols. This is also a really good aerosol. It's called Control. It's by Hair You Wear. Um, it's not going to give you a stiff of a hold at all. It won't even give you really even a medium hold, but it does a good job. And it will do a better job after you use a little bit of dry shampoo, something like what I just use. It will, it will work so much better. And that's the thing. When you use hairsprays that are made for synthetic fibers, they need a little help. They just do, even the aerosols. And this is a trick of mine that I have um, talked about for a long time. If you use other products, especially a dry shampoo, because it has those powdery fibers, 
it's going to help you out with that problem. The other one, by the way, is called, oh gosh, what is, I haven't had it for so long and I miss it because it is so good. It is by Trust Tech and it is called Cripes. I can't remember it, so I'm going to put it up here and I need to get some more because it works really well. Okay, so I am going to just kind of put this a little everywhere. I probably am going to tuck this. So, I'm going to kind of just put this a little everywhere. Again, I'm not huge on a full bang, so I might not utilize this for that reason. But right now, I... I really just, again, I'm working on the texture for myself right now. And the next time I wear this, I won't need to put as, as much hairspray on it. I'm just not sure which side this is gonna wanna do something for me on. Definitely switch it up if you need to. Inevitably, see we have this gorgeous, natural looking scalp appearance. That's that monofilament. Not all wig companies do it as well and as good <laughs> as Rocco Welch. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit deeper if I can. I'm gonna make it a little bit of one of those parts that goes from here kind of back sideways like that. Just to reduce the heaviness on the side that I want to tuck. Mm -hmm. That's better. And this is real time. I'm not going to edit any of this. I just want you to see um, how it doesn't have to take a lot of time to do this kind of thing. I kind of like how this lays close to the head right there. I just think that's actually kind of realistic and nice. So as you can see, it doesn't matter if this doesn't have a lace front because we have that gorgeous bang situation. If you want to go in a little bit more with this, you can. When it, Once it's on your head, I just knew that I was going to use a lot, so I did it when it was off of my head. Be adorable really to also tuck both sides keep your bang down here and you know tuck both sides that would be adorable as well I think want to show you how cute this style looks with a couple different kinds of headbands so I'm gonna fetch those and I'll be right back so I grabbed these are my favorite these are square band headbands and I'm gonna be doing a dedicated video just to these and I have never done that before but I definitely want to I actually have an entire box here <laughs> of brand new ones and some new styles that I want to show you guys in that video. So keep a lookout for that because this has always been my favorite accessory for my wigs. It just, they're brilliant. 
and anybody at any age can wear these. It's like you have sunglasses on, they're comfortable, they have these silicone pieces that are just, they're brilliant and they're lovely. So I'll go ahead and put their website down below. I have a really amazing discount for these as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down there for you can use it anytime. There's no minimum you have to use or, or purchase in order to utilize that discount code. But I'm gonna start with this one. And then I also have one of these. These are real popular right now. And so I wanna try this in here as well. So what I do when I use headbands is I get kind of back what I want to put back in the headband. Now, honestly, styles that really take these headbands to this whole other level are the ones who that do have permatease because then you got this real pretty volume but this also can be very cute so I take it and I stick it right there and I touch that side oops hold on I touch that side or one side first and then I take it back and you know that's that's another amazing thing about this style is that it's gonna last you longer because it is a shorter style. We've eliminated that constant friction from it rubbing up against your clothes. It's gonna last a little longer. And it it is just so easy to wear. You don't have to fiddle with it. You know, you don't have to worry about it just clumping up because it's a little bit longer. It's just a beautiful length for that. And the style itself is, is definitely just sort of a grab and go kind of classic thing going on. I think this wig is really fun and it has surprised me in that I really haven't had to do much to it to to get it to work for me and for me to feel comfortable in it. I see I do have to pull the bang a little to the side. You definitely don't have to do that. I definitely do. I, again, I am just not used to a, a full, full bang. That's something else actually that we should um, touch on is I have a tall forehead and a receding hairline. So I'm able to pull this back. If you don't, but you still like the idea of the style, you will probably most definitely have to take it to somebody who's comfortable with tipping those ends to get them shorter for you so it will work for you. But don't shy away from the style for that reason because there are plenty of stylists out there who would be willing to do that for you if it's something that you aren't comfortable with doing yourself. So I'm gonna try this. I don't. I don't know if this is gonna work. I haven't decided how, because this has to tuck behind my neck, whereas a headband, you don't have to do that. So we will see how this works, because I'm not sure yet. I think I'm just gonna kind of like spread it here, set it under there, let this go on top. Oh, I think this is cute too. But would it stay there? That would be my problem. I feel like it might and feels okay. It's not slipping, but that's an issue, you know? But that's cute. Hmm, that's cute. You can kind of make these a little wider if you want. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Something else that I often do, and I just want to see how, how this is going to work with this one. Another really great thing about hand-tied caps is that there are no whiffs, so you don't have to worry about any of that showing, which is a great thing. But this is something that I do like to do a lot with my pieces, is I like the 90s poof thing. So I secure that by kind of going in each direction with these clips that are fabulous. I'll link them, because I know a lot of you ask about them, because they have three prongs, and they just, they're nice to work with. And then I 
would probably just take all of this. This hairline is amazing. So I'm gonna, I don't have a weft, so I'm just gonna be really careful with it. That's something else that I wanted to show you is that you may think that you are dialed into only one style with a wig like this, with a style like this, but boy, that couldn't be farther from the truth. There's a lot of really cute things you can do with this. And these bangs are pretty wispy. They do have layers in them, so you're not gonna fight with those too much. They also stay really nice and close to the wig line, so you can just kind of take your fingers and do this, and they don't go up or, you know, do weird things, so that's nice. So this, this is definitely a way I would absolutely wear this. Very easy. <laughs> All right, I am gonna wrap this one up. I, I hope that you found this helpful and definitely dig out wigs that maybe you haven't given a second thought to and you have them in your collection. Maybe this will inspire you to play with those ones a little more and they may become your grab and goes. All right, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.